Hello everybody, welcome to episode 2 of this podcast at Richard House Void Deck. We still don't have a name for this, but it's okay. It it's called the Void Deck Podcast, uh, I, think. I, th- I think at this point, yes. Um, today we've got special guests. Special guests, indeed. Yeah. Uh, who do we have? Carissa! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We are all the way from the UK. Mr. Brian Toe! Oh. I, I said I forget your name for it. I was going to say... You know yeah. me how long already? Brian! Yeah. <laughs> so, them, them. Uh, we have Brian today. Uh, Am I allowed to swear? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, Chiba, you know me how long already? <laughs> <laughs> no, suddenly my brain, my brain suddenly... No. Brian! Uh, <laughs> so today, uh, the podcast, we haven't really planned it, but I think we're just probably going to talk about... Hey, here got bullshit. Him. Hey, I'm trying to talk. Okay, Sorry. But yeah, so we're going to talk about his life in London. Uh, he went for two years mm. in London to pursue screen dance. Mm. Tell us maybe a bit what is what the hell is screen dance? Oh, yeah, maybe before that, lah, ho. Oh. Brian has been working with us with a lot of stuff. Oh, yes. Back, stuff that are like here. Backstory. Pew, pew, pew. So Brian uh-huh. is a very good friend of ours, but then he, he's probably the most hardcore of us because he went to UK and pursued screen dance and, and, and stuff. So share with us. You know, what have you done been doing in the UK? So, How has it been? <laughs> hi. Hi. Screen dance is very fun. Dance is very fun. Dance is music very fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, like, the question of like what is screen dance is very like difficult question. Because I think everyone that has tried to put dance on screen before will always be really good. Like, we always face the question of like, how much dance is needed in a dance film, right? What would quantify dance film? Is it like the technique of dance? Or is it the imagery of dance? But then we also have films, right? That are like, that feel like people are dancing, but actually don't showcase any moving bodies within it. So that's something that we, um, in academia, we tend to call, uh, I suddenly forgot. Uh, it's okay. Just yeah, 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 that thing. Then, uh, yeah, so a lot of the reason why I wanted to go to do this master's is because I've been working with these two for very long before that. And then I very sien, I was like all the dance films in Singapore. <laughs> right. yeah. I very sien. Sien. Okay, because yeah, yeah. cause, right, cause I always lighting, right? Then like oh, all my setups the same. Then I, I, I very do mm. I, I always really very do learn. All my setups the same. Then I like, no, like there must be a different way of making the work that we want to make in a way that is um, feasible. And I think we are very, so for our circle of screen dance or like dance film, we are very largely influenced by the concept video era of YouTube as yeah. well. And then these have two major influences, which is like K-pop and um, the entire LA dance scene, yeah. like the entire uh, uh, urban, urban. Uh, urban hey, no, yeah, yeah, word, but no. like that, that so, so. So, <laughs> <laughs> No, but the entire, um, circle that started from uh, the college kids in uh, LA that became like the most lifestyle people right. and then yeah. uh, the circle surrounding that lah. Um, and we're, like our circle in Singapore is very largely influenced by that, like mm. the street dance circle. So, I'll, and that is primarily... Uh, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's primarily um, geared with like by thoughts of like presenting oh yeah, like that's the that's the k-pop era which is uh which the elements is often given a lot of gimbal movement and kind of showing it's like kind of dancing towards the camera yeah right the entire idea of like dancing towards the camera and if the camera is the audience you're kind of like giving them like a live show of a thing yeah. Or this entire idea of like cho- choreographing to a music. So this yeah. kind of what defines scene. Yeah. That. What? But, well, which year is this? Is this like all the way back in the 2000s? So the earliest record that I could find of the word concept and concept video was... um they check my notes. Uh, was actually roughly 2009. The word concept specifically, there were two instances, which was actually the Straw Hats con- concept, which is uh, quick... Uh, quick start. Quick crew, yeah, quick crew, but the word concept itself. Before that, there was also that guy. Now he's doing VTuber. Do I, I texted your. He doing VTuber. Yeah. Is now he's, VTuber? No, he's doing VTuber animations. Uh, oh. cool, cool, 
Kanaru. Yeah, Kanaru. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a OG. Yeah, yeah. So Kanaru, yeah. Kanaru, Kanaru was. I, I, I first. Okay, wait. Uh, Sidetrack. I first spotted Kanaru for ML, Sean Ever Stop. Yeah. Then after that, he did the documentary when he was uh, choreographing for Two Anyone. Yeah. So that was some of the like he didn't they didn't put like concept video, but he was one of the ones that shot some of the yeah. earliest what we now see as the genre of concept video yeah right and then it was also at the same time he was if you see like his youtube channel right he was, he was also shooting a lot of like j-pop k-pop stuff at the same time so which also partially largely it explains like the crossover between the two styles yeah right and then we also i also think it's very interesting because now we see like uh kyoni like choreography for bts so it's kind of come like full circle yes it is right but interesting la. what was i talking about sorry i'm very adhd so what, like, they, they deal with me, right? It's like, I just ADHD all the way. The topic is jump. Yeah, sorry, I, I, I'm okay. very ADHD. Okay. Stop, with your, okay. stop with your damn thesis, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not here to hear, uh, hear your TED talk, but no, like, yeah, it's different, yeah. okay. So, mainly, it's, uh, so how is it, I've been in the UK, you know, learning about all this from a different perspective. What, mm. what have you learned differently from the UK? Mm. Like, I think my, my master's was a uh, really big struggle because within my cohort, I was the only one that came from, like, a street dance background. Mm. I was the only Asian, like non-white person within that cohort. I was also, and like, I also coming from street dance where uh, the rest of them were coming from like contemporary ballet, more studio-based um, backgrounds. Hey. <laughs> um, so it was really hard for me to wrap myself around a lot of the concepts that they were using in contemporary dance. Uh, but I think it was, rewarding in a certain way because now i am watching a lot of dance films possibly more than anyone has in singapore la. like really i can say i can i've watched over ten thousand dance films in the past two years right which is crazy to me and but i watched all of them at like two times speed so it's like <laughs> so, so based on your on your knowledge now what do you think is the first concept dance video in Singapore. I, I mean, I mean, you had this conversation. The first concept dance video. Yeah, what do you feel like? You know, no, in, in Singapore, a lot of people say that, oh, at this point in time, there is like real hip hop, you know, mm. in Singapore. So like, I mean, I don't want to say names, but that'll be a topic for another day. Before you say that, maybe yeah. you want to guess first, what's the first in I, your opinion? For me, I would say it's Bronny's uh, Showgirl. Hey. For me, yeah, I feel like yeah, 2009. 2009? Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, it was kind of, it was 2011, 2012, yeah. 2009, I was in primary school. <laughs> I think 2011, 2012, yeah. Yeah, 2009, I was in primary school. Um, the earliest record of a dance done for camera that I found, so like in screen dance, we also have like different class of patients, right? Dance for the camera, dance with oh. the camera, dance uh, for camera, uh, cine dance, and other stuff that is like maybe a little bit more visual art style, yeah. right? But the first, the record that is called like kind of like choreographed for camera is actually 06 to 08 which old school music video ah. old that's the, that's the most i can i found so far la. Same, that was, is it the one with Anand inside? Uh, uh, they, all, they all have Anand. <laughs> <laughs> Anand <laughs> is the about? They all have Anand. <laughs> yeah, they all have Anand. <laughs> No, no I done. Okay. No I done. But uh yeah, that's the earliest one I found. Before that, my idea is also uh B Boy concept videos, where it's essentially just highlight reels of like people breaking up. Mm. But a lot of these here be found already. I think there are a lot on Facebook. So I was talking to Hebs about this. Um and then I was just talking to like me and my crewmates or like who we saw when we were children also. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So there's that there's a yeah, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't consider those like battle videos like you know like like there when you were set the yeah. forum or, or like, like the earliest battle video i think i can find is the estate underground battle gem. Oh, not not sgb boy champs uh. was it sgb boy champs it could be sgb I boy champs remember, yeah. actually okay i so i'm pretty sure that was like one of the first few like prop the filming film battles yeah I, cause I remember, I mean, Ariel Gym is a very old event as yeah. well, but I w I'm not sure if there was any sort of like... Coverage. Heavy coverage, mm. you know. I, I, SGB Watch was one of the first few that had like, coverage. Yeah. At least, on, at least from the, from the news site or anything. Yeah, that, um, so when we talk about screen dance, we say, I say screen dance as an umbrella term, like mm. that covers like, 
uh, as much of dance film as I can, mm. right? So we also can think about screen dance as like an archival. So what we do for events yeah. is a form of screen dance in the sense that it's a capture of a moment in time mm. that is primarily dance focused, right? right? And there's no um, like, Yes. Okay. So <laughs> now that uh, you told us about like your experience of being like the coming from you know the non-contemporary side, you mm. come from street dance. Then after that, um, basically learning new things. Yeah. From there, was it worth it? No. Yeah, it was not worth it for the amount of uh, money that it cost. Oh shit! Because really? it was money that came from my mother's pocket, like uh, like. And my parents la. It was not worth it for And I went through a lot within this past two years. Mm. Right. I really, really I got really depressed. I I was alone in a different country. Mm. Like it was not worth it for if I had a little bit more maturity, if I had a little bit more grip, I felt like maybe. But it was also there's also something that I had to learn on a very personal level. Mm. So like at this point, like it was the cost itself, I think is, is worth it. Uh, like the, the, the cost of the, the yeah, what I, what I gained from the course, because within the course itself, like we organize a festival. We, uh, what, what is the festival name? Uh, very much, very much. So, uh, very much is our annual festival in London. In, in London Contemporary Dance School. Uh, so I got to organize that. And within that, we learned about like programming and curation, which I think is skills that a lot of street dancers right now don't really um, have. La. Mm. It's mostly on the uh, fine arts contemporary arts yeah. side. Yeah. 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 And I think it's also, it was also very evident for me because I went into very much right after LCD, uh, LCDFF. And like, it became very apparent to me. It's like, hey, a CDFF, right? We are designed like literally like a battle. Yeah, right. right. Like, but it's thing. no, but it's because that's where we came from, and and, it, and that's also why I think so many people were so easily like. It's easy for a lot of people to just get hooked onto it mm. because they knew they knew the bat they knew the battlegrounds they knew what to do. But is that something that um would create longevity for the form in the long run? Is a different question now. So. Very much with the creation of programming. I managed to screen a re by Leo and Nihong while I was over there. And the two of them came to visit me. Uh, super nice. We had like very good time. And then Lizzie was there too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. but Lizzie was there for holiday. Oh, okay. Bye. Yeah, and Sue was Sue, Sue was there also. Yes. Uh Suyan. And then going back to the break, also yeah, I got ADHD, sorry, sorry. <laughs> that is being worth it. That you mentioned that the cost itself. Yeah. The cost is worth it. If you're if this is something that you want to do for like pursue a master's in screen dance, it is genuinely very worth it because it's the only one in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy is the very first Singaporean. Yeah, be, but uh, I also have to preface this that I'm not the first screen dance academic. Like before that, before me, there is uh, Lisa Wendy and uh, Jeremy Chua from Sydney Movement who have also talked about and developed uh, workshops within uh, the art sphere for uh, screen dance and dance film um, within the past don't know how many years are uh, very very long already and it's when uh, yeah so I, I'm not the first uh, but I think I'm the first for I'm the first one to get the masters uh. <laughs> it's quite tricky in this way when you are doing a lot of your academics eh? because considering from in the grand scheme of thing how young street dance is yeah was it quite difficult to to, to even formulate something out to, to write because it's like you're, you're comparing something that is basically like what 40 to 50 years old against something that is like a couple of hundred years old you know yes uh i mean yes and no there's also there is a lot of research being done in Good. street dance yeah. not enough there will always be not enough research being done in street dance because when you're we're talking about like urban cultures where we're talking about like uh this kind of thing la, it's like sometimes it's also hard to say la, it's hard to like give like a accurate point of view i have a very good mentor in uh who was um omari carter yeah. from um motion dance collective yeah. uh very good mentor on him who understood like my perspective coming from street dance as well yeah. performed in uh stomp 
Stomp, and now is currently a lecturer at University of Utah, if I'm not wrong. So University of Utah also has another dance film uh, program at, I think, at the undergraduate level. I'm not too sure, but honestly, uh, I can't say, the, say much of the program. I do, I think it's headed by, I can't remember, it's okay, moving on. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you are saying that it's always never enough resources. Yeah, there's always never enough resources. Um, but my paper specifically was about uh, dance film in Singapore. Unfortunately, like, I was not able to finish my research by the time I had to submit. And I just had to, like, pause because I was really, really burnt out. Like, I, I'm, I'm film crew first. Like, from the beginning, I'm someone that is I don't know how to yong now. What? Yeah, I, I only know how to use my hands. Oh. I only know how to brute force my way through things. Yes. I don't know how to... I understand. I don't know how to yeah. use my brain sometimes. <laughs> so, uh, my research was about screen dance film in Singapore and being able to see if there is a potential for um, screen dance education within uh, okay. Singapore. So, from this thesis, what's the most interesting findings that you found? Interesting findings that uh, you can think of. Um, so, the very first films made in Singapore were partially dance films, and was censored because of it showed it was like two scenes of erotic dancing, and it was a film called Sinker, which um, it was a film called Sinker, and it was censored for uh, two scenes of erotic dancing and uh, depiction of violence which was in line with Commonwealth um, kind of like regulations at that point of time. Because this is 1927, this was like when we were still British colony. Okay. Yeah, when we were still British colony. And I think it reveals to me two specific things. Lah, is that one, it kind of mirrors the entire screen dance canon. Some of the very first films made were dance films. It mirrors that, okay, this is not like, putting dance on screen is not an uh, independent thing that someone just thought about. It's like, it's something that's actually quite human and Trump. instinctive la. It's something that's quite instinctive to most people. How I'm going to prove that, I don't really know. It's just a vibe. <laughs> it's just a vibe. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Shit. Yeah, no. It's just a vibe. No, it's just a vibe la. Then, but, um, and two is that how dance and censorship have always been two sides of the same coin. Right? Because when we um, dance or when we make art, it is always inherently political. It's always inherently showcasing a certain space and time and reaction the way that people are reacting or performing a certain thing is a capture of a certain amount of identity mm. and with identity comes the politics around that where is this identity stemming from where is this culture stemming from so yeah oh so that's that's the most interesting thing love it's like I think if, if cool like, when Sky is at the day this one he's watching me like my soul is like it's like he's it's floating fun. away <laughs> yeah my, my soul is somewhere there, yeah, I'm like... Oh, but okay, other than that... Um, what's the best screen dance film in Singapore? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay what's, what's your best screen dance film in Singapore? So now uh, that you already know about all these screen dance, so in your opinion, what's, yeah, what's your top three? Oh no, what's, what's your top three? Huh? What's your top three? I don't... If no, the three okay. of us say, right, we've got some power to, to, to uh, the amount of... To what we say is I don't even know what's the definition of screen dance anyway, so I'll like, like what's the best dance films in your opinion in Singapore? Right? But the thing is you have seen more than us, like in terms of like uh, No, but you but you also organize a festival. Yeah. So but it's still too early to say the best. I feel like I for me What's your favorite? My favorite <laughs> your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, right. that's stuck. I don't know, man. I mean, wouldn't you just pick like the one you did with Aru at the top of Marina Barrage? Yeah, but that's I, I cannot say my. Answer. Why not? You can no, say that your favorite thing is. I like that one. Why, 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 why not? Why not? That's my first project review. No, why not? On self, on self. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? There's nothing worth picking your own, your own as your favorite one. Yeah, that's mm. so. So that that film was the journey by Aru, and then like that's the first time I worked with you. Yeah, right? and then it was like ninety plus people. That was like shit. No, no, it was ninety. It was ninety. I was I was ninety one. Okay, I was ninety one, and then uh, I was like shit. We need to produce this. We cannot just run and gun this shit. Yeah, yeah. 
So so I I yeah, just I mean, why not why not? I think that one was quite a quite a mem what quite a you know yeah. twenty minutes. Twenty minutes, only twenty minutes. It's twenty minutes lah. But every yeah, day is all I was talking with. Yeah. yeah yeah, but I mean in the end it's it's a very well produced. I mean I wasn't part of it lah, but yeah. Oh. I don't Thanks. have a favorite. Honestly, I don't have a favorite. Thanks. It's a vibe for me. Yeah. Thanks. I like. I didn't buy us up, but <laughs> I like Leo and Yung stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I like Leo and Yung stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think because those two guys, I think. Uh, one, Leo's my teammate. Yeah. <laughs> two, uh, like, I think those two, like, really. I really resonate with them yeah. in, like, the way that we are thinking about our craft and oh, yeah. uh, the stuff that we're making. Uh, yeah. True. Yeah. So yeah, brain is different, like yeah. for me. Then like that, I, I got got a different one. Then then like that, I will actually pick uh our gem twenty nineteen highlights. Okay. What? Yeah. The recap video. I'll pick that one because I think that one from a pacing standpoint and how I weaved it all together without even technically having a story, and he somehow managed to edit a story out of whole, the whole thing was something that I, I think. Uh, I think. For me, it's still one of his best work in terms of editing for dance, and I still think it's like one of the best edited recap video. He has the whole like ultra my mm. vibes in that in that way. Yeah, the, vibe, mm. right? the whole vibes, yeah. I mean, if I really if I were to really say if I were to say like my favorite screen dance film, then I will just pick any final kit of uh, ultra <laughs> Miami highlights uh, because yeah. it's really a vibe one. Yeah, correct. It's all so dance people when, dancing music very yeah. smooth. What is a whole story spoken? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So when we talk about like screen dance, sometimes we talk about the kinds of choreography that's yeah. in there, right? There's choreography of the camera. Um, where we choreograph the camera to like dancers yeah. lah. There's choreography of um, there's site specific choreography. Yeah. Where we are choreographing around the space. Yeah. Right, and then there's choreography in the edit, which is, which, which also plays into the idea of like, like how much, um. A film feels like a dance without actually showing moving bodies. Yeah. And in a sense, isn't like highlight reels, like if you're cutting to music, is that also choreography in the edit, right? Mm. And is that what we want to consider screen arts? Yeah. So that's a whole different question in itself. Mm. And I do think that's also why like my position for pursuing dance film is because I see a lot of potential with transferable skills for dancers, musicality, understanding of blocking, understanding of movement. Um then it's okay. To when it comes to filmmaking, I see a lot of transferable skills between mm. that understanding of musicality, understanding of like the way images and pacing of that images mm. also is uh, interesting lah. Yeah, so I want to I mean, just to give a shout out to Ayel because Ayel is the best. Yeah. When he mentioned our gem recap in the 2019, um, uh, Ayel is my teacher in terms of editing when it comes to Ayel is our teacher yeah. <laughs> choosing music and I like hanging out with Ayel <laughs> he's a DJ yeah. first so that's why he has a very good sense of choosing the right music for the vibe but at the same time the way he edits it's I was very mind blown when I first saw him edit like, super <gasps> fast on the oh. laptop so yeah. like he's the one who taught me how to use the shortcut and customize the shortcut so like yeah shout out to Ayel yeah. So, on the other hand of like screen dance, right? We thought about that. Then we said, okay, then everything can be done film, right? But then we look at that. If everything can be done film, like then the question is like, okay, what makes our work showcasing dance on screen powerful and or important? What increases like social value of all that? To that, I really don't know. Yeah, I try to find also. That's my point yeah. of researching. <laughs> I think when I take some time. Yeah. Yeah. Please. So. Other than screen dance, screen dance. All right, let's let's talk let's, about. Let's time to hit. Hey, okay, time to hit. <laughs> what the? F okay. What's the number one pet peeve you have in the dance scene? Pet peeve I have in the dance scene. Like dancing or scene dance? Uh, no, no, just uh. Oh, maybe let's just do screen dance scenes. Hit right. Yeah, and pet then, peeve. What's your biggest pet peeve in in, in screen dance? Uh, like when you see this, it's like. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Singapore. Uh? Yes. No, no. When you see uh, in a general, in Singapore, Singapore. <laughs> Shooting car park. Shooting car park. Wow. Well, oh. Yes. Uh, oh. Oh yeah. Uh. My like my setups in my thing dance films in Singapore. <laughs> Give <Gimbal> movement. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, 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 Sometimes it's easier to just do the other thing. But that's what pisses me off. I don't know, I got a lot of... Okay, Can so... Can you number one, your number one pet peeve? Which you're being at? This regarding dancer safety. 
Open up. That's a safety. Yes. I hate it. I hate it, right? When what I am here. When choreographers or people in charge are and I see this as a bystander, right? I just asking that I just do it over and over and over again, right? Without like kind of considering like their strength or their fatigue or of it. And this also extends out to I guess Oh they I think this so also extends out to a bit of like lack of track, I feel. Yeah. A lot of times I feel the the lack of track by the dancers. I feel like it was very prevalent in the past where there was a lot of like the well, all I need to do is to choreo and I like clean. But they never really factor to the point to the fact where like hey, how does it look on camera? And they, they, all, they need to, you know, work with the camera. Yeah. yeah, and then suddenly like on the spot I'm forced to think on the spot to, to figure out. And I think that was a very, very big problem. We've had shoots before where people got injured. Yeah. I think that we as in us? Yeah. For yeah. Sure. For yeah. For For you. I also got not injured before. What? Wait, which one? Also, got another interview. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. it says. Yeah. Oh, we did. Yeah. What are you going to do? The Kingsman, then they split. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. I think I on that point, yeah, it's just lack of thread. Um, the choice of location result. Yeah. So there's some. Yeah, yeah. I agree, lah. There's some. There's a lot of like lack of preparation. But I think now, I think me, Richard, been showing like you know when when yeah. dancers do previews and stuff, it mm. really helps a lot. At least you can at least, even forget a phone, you know, you can at least have yeah. a vision, vision as like, you know, okay, this works, this doesn't work, you know. Yeah, yeah. previous helps. Yeah, I mean, it's not just previous, but it's like the entire process of pre-production. Mm. Like, making film is comparatively a different ball game than showcasing competition pieces. Yeah. It's a different ball game from, like, putting up performances. Yeah. It, yeah. There are so many other factors, yeah. and I like that that process of pre-production will never be hundred percent. But yeah. it's kind of like the idea of like, I agree. like you never stick to the plan, but like it's the process of planning that that yeah. counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. Yes, it's... yeah. But also like for my own productions, I also a bit like don't plan one now, so I I get it. Uh. Like I like my past two films. Planning my planning is the most like yeah. Yeah, my past two films have really been like just. Uh, I was super reliant on like my friendships yeah. with uh, like how well I work with my team. Yeah. yeah so it's mostly called something guys. Uh, Justin. Wow. Yeah. It's mostly it's actually mostly Justin uh, So shout out to Justin. Uh, who I went to film school with, and then we did. I wish you stayed, and then mm. my last film made me cry. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So what are you? What's your biggest pet peeve? What's your biggest pet peeve? What would make you throw your cat? When they keep saying. Pen for everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you mean like on the screen then itself? I mean just in general, like maybe when you're filming like that like stuff like stuff you feel. At like this just... point, at this point of time, actually bad lighting. Bad lighting or oh. mm. <gasps> unexposed is, shit. Is it cause is it cause you all don't have me anymore? That I don't have to light. Uh, then you all don't have me to light. It's anymore. like they <laughs> <laughs> No no, I mean in, in general like they oh, finally just, they forget about finally, lighting. Yes. Finally I'm appreciated. Brian, <laughs> yeah, Brian, actually, Brian told me how to be like you know, pay more attention on lighting, so shut up. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. me, it's um. Uh, well, actually, I don't know. I don't know why I hate more. I hate a lot of things in life. Yeah, yeah. You're such a hater. You are a hater, man. I'm a hater, man. But that's why I like hate. Uh, what? Too much transition. What? Too much effect. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. I think recently my pet peeve, I think because maybe of Carissa and stuff, right? I, I don't like dancers. <laughs> I don't like dancers when they don't put enough makeup. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, that's also my bad piece. Like, I hate it, right, but I see dancers, right, wow, they got sweat stain all. Yeah. And, oh, sweat no, stain. No, then, yeah, I hate that shit. when they close up, right, because symbol of them hot, so you can see their face shiny one. Yeah. yeah. Right, like, I think hair makeup wardrobe is really such a. I, I think that's right. a. I think they're very. Especially when you shoot in Singapore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Yo, really. If your makeup actually slap very thick, right, and then you have a constant, like, person, actually, you will look fine. Right? Yeah. Just that a lot of times they. they no budget. I don't know, but no, I feel like they don't think about it. I think they don't think about it. Who will budget for this? Yeah. No, but I think it's I budget for makeup. Yeah, but you should budget. I think I think should. should. That's good. I mean, I mean, a very good example is like is like like the stuff that you've been doing like with Amenzo. You know, like the makeup is done well. Ah yeah. 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 There's someone who does makeup. Even though you are sweaty, right? It's not it's not obvious that the person is sweaty because you step in so much makeup that it's so like you know. Mm. Then it's not obvious. Especially now cameras are so high definition, right? You step a bit more makeup, lah. It's fine. Just put that one more layer of powder. It's fine, one lah. I feel like that's that's. That's my recent pet peeve because like every time she made me watch like all the drag race and glow, then like 
Then like when the makeup like not there, right? Then it's like, oh, it's not good. <laughs> ah, right, right, right. What do you think? What do you think? Huh? Interesting take. Interesting take. Rock. Okay. Wait, lighting change. All right. That's uh, my power sign for of it to end. Thank you all for watching today. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. If you want to come on this show, just DM us. We'll gladly let you all join us. Yes. yes. And then we can go to Richard Priyoga's house together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. All right. Welcome to.